Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and today we're going to do the question plus one from Lee Code. And before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. That helps me create these videos for you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and understand the question. So in the question, we're given a um, non-empty list of digits, and what we need to do is we just need to add one to um, the last element of the digit, but if that number is um, nine, we will have uh, overflow, right? So we need to add that carryover one to the number before it. So that's essentially what the question is asking. And there are many ways to solve it, but I tried to solve it in the most like easy to understand way. So let's go ahead and look at the solution. Okay, so there are two main cases that we need to consider here. And the first case is if our um, addition gives us a 10, right? So if I add one to the last number, which is this position, and if that sum gives me um, 10, right? We need to do something. We need to take this plus one and then keep moving backwards, right? And keep adding that one. And what we need to do is if the last digit is still at one, so this, the result would be 100 for this. So if this is still giving me a zero, then we need to go ahead and add this one to the front. So that is the first case. And then the second case is a case where, the, let's say the last number gave us a carry of one, right? So this is 10, nine plus one is 10. And then this gave us four we can just return this result prematurely because we don't need to we don't need to consider these two numbers all we need to do is just return it whenever we don't have a case of uh, carry so i hope that helps you understand how we're moving backwards so the two cases are if the sum is equal to 10 or it's less than 10 right so anything here so 3 plus 1 4 is less than 10 so we don't need to um really uh do anything so we, we will just return our in-place changes that we made. So this is the part we changed because we moved backward. And this is the part we'll just leave as it is and just return. Um, and for the first case, if we need to add something to the beginning, we will go ahead and insert a one because we know it's always going to be one. Um, otherwise, we will just keep going and making sure that all the carry-ons um, have been changed to zero. So if we see a 10, we change that number in place to a zero and then carry one and then add it again, okay? So I hope this helps you understand how we're going to solve the problem. Okay, so our strategy is to start at the last element here. So if we're given this list, we're going to add 1 to 9. And so that sum is equal to 10, right? So what we do is we just replace this digit with a 0. So we're going to say um, digits at that position is going to be equal to 0 because we know um, we're going to carry 1. So that's why the 0 is there. So then we, again, add this 1 to the 3. And that's 4, right? So that's actually less than 10. So what we can do is we just return the rest of the items that we haven't touched. So we're doing an in-place change here. And this is the answer. That's what we're looking for. So we're returning prematurely. Okay, it's going to become more clear when we write the code. So let's go ahead and dive into the code. Awesome. So I'm back in the code. And the first thing I'm going to do is get the length of the list. So I will call this n. So n equals length of our input, which is digits. That's the list we're given. And we need to iterate this backwards. So I'm going to write my for loop for that. So I will say for i in range, and it will be um, to the length of n. So we'll go from 0 to n. And what we want to do after is just add that 1 and check if that digit um, is equal to 10 or not. And if it is equal to 10, then we need to uh, handle those cases, right? So I will add that um, 1. So I will say digit at the index i plus one, okay? So I added one to the last digit. Okay, I need to um, go in reverse. So I'll say reverse range, reversed range. Um, it's it's so easy to um, iterate a list backwards in Python just simply with this reverse function, uh, which is awesome. So yeah, so we will go from the last element. So we're starting here and we're gonna add one. So three plus one is four and that is less than 10. So if my digit at that index, at that last index here. So now we just added one to this three and now it's four. So if my digit is less than 10, okay, then we are just going to return the digits because we're doing in place. So we don't need to go back anymore and check any of the previous numbers because we're not carrying anything. Um, so we'll just return the digits list um, else what we need to do is we need to handle that carry case. Awesome, so I'm back in the code and the first thing I'm gonna do is um, define the length of uh, the digits. So we can say uh, digit length equals 
and that will be the length of our digits. And it's just helpful to have this when we're uh, going backwards in our list so we can just refer to this digit length. So I will now write my for loop to iterate over the list backwards because remember we need to add one to the end, right? That's why we're doing this backwards. So I'll say for i in digits, sorry, for i in reverse range and we will pass it the digit length. So we'll say dig length. Okay, so this is how we iterate over a list backwards in Python, which is super easy to do. Um, okay, and once we have this, what we're gonna do is we will add one to um, our last item in the list because we're doing the reverse. So if we're at three, so we're starting here, right? So we're at three and we will um, add one to three and see if it's greater than 10 or not. So I will add one to this digit and then we're going to do the check. So this is the first condition, so if, um, this digit that we just visited and added one to is um, less than 10, then we can just return it. That's all, our work is done. So once we've just added this one to the three, that's it, we're done. Like we can return this as it is. We don't need to go to any of the previous elements and do any more additions because there's no carry-ons, right? So we'll go ahead and return our digits list. Okay, so that's good. And then else, else if we have a case where we have like a nine nine, then what we need to do at the last time is replace it with a zero, right? So we will say uh, at that position, digits, oh, these are, these should be digits, not digit, because the name of the list is digits. So digits um, at that position uh, is going to be equal to zero. So now what we've done is we have converted this to a zero, and then it will go back up again to the previous digit, and it, it's gonna add one here and then again see that, yeah, that is equal to 10. So what it's gonna do now is again convert this to a zero. And now we have a case where it's just two zeros, but we don't wanna return this, we wanna return 100, right? So for that case, to handle that case, what we're gonna do is we will um, make sure that we insert a one if we see the first um, element as um, zero, right? Because we're not returning zero, zero, we need to return 100. So what we're gonna do is after this um, iteration is over, we will check, so if digits at the first position, which we just grab by giving it the index zero, so if that one is equal to zero, then what we need to do is we will do digits dot insert, and we will insert at the position zero, we will insert a one, right? Okay, so this looks good to me, and then the last thing we need to do is return our digits, okay? Awesome, so it looks good. Let me just make sure there's no runtime errors. Okay, awesome, accept it and submit. Yes, successful, awesome. Okay, after doing this problem, I realized that I have one extra line of code and I'll give you a second to think about it. You can pause the video and figure out where it is. Okay, so the answer is line 11 and that's because we actually don't need to do this check because if the code is at this position, that means it's outside of the for loop. Um, and if it hits this case, then it is always a case where we have this situation where we need to insert a one before um, our answer in the digits uh, list. And that's because imagine if you have like 49 here, right? So it goes into the loop and then it adds one again to the four, but this time it is five and five, four plus one, five, is less than 10. So it's go, it goes ahead and just returns the digit um, without actually needing to come all the way down and then insert and check if it needs to insert or not. So that's why we actually don't need this line 11. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this um, and then we'll try and run our code. So let me just get rid of all this space here um, and then I'm going to submit. Okay, awesome, accepted. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. This way I can create more content for you guys and help you guys out in solving these questions. If you have any questions or if you want to share your solution below, you're welcome to do that in the comments. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments as well. I will do my best to answer them. All right, happy coding, guys.